So, welcome back. It has been less than a week this time. I'm getting better. Um, uh, today's an unscripted one. I just, it had been on my mind for a little bit. Not Nothing serious. But, um, I started writing something. And I said, eh. I'll just go ahead and record this. And it is, why, well you see the title. Why the Denver Nuggets will win the NBA championship. Now, I'm not saying... They are 100% lock for the NBA championship. In fact, out of the four teams left, they probably have the worst shot of um, of winning it. But um, here's why they have some shot. So let's get into it. So let's start off with what we know about the Nuggets. And one thing that's for certain is Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic. They're two stars that are just produced this uh, this postseason at least in games 5 through 7. Um, Murray has been amazing, going back to the first series with Donovan Mitchell with Utah Jazz. Not a Jazz fan, love the jersey, but uh, yeah, I, I just, I love this jersey, love Stockton. Um, but yeah, going back to that first series with the Jazz, back and forth with Mitchell, insane series to watch. He's been producing, Jokic has been like one of the like undervalued stars I would say because he's been putting up the same numbers but he's getting overlooked by because of what Murray's done but those two will always be there game in game out Jokic versus AD will be amazing to watch um but yeah now something a little less known is the rest of the team on some some games they're as good as anybody else like Gary Harris on a good day could score could get you 30 Jeremy Grant plays solid defense, can score. Paul Millsap, he used to be an all-star. Like this, the potential for this team is insane, but it hasn't been overly consistent. Hence, why they've been down three to one in series. But um, but yeah, we don't know what's gonna be there. But overall, I think they match up fairly well against the Los Angeles Lakers. I mean, first of all, from the Lakers, Rondo has to be as good as he has ever been in order to slow down Jamal Murray. Like, Donovan Mitchell couldn't do that. And he's one of the better defenders in the league. Uh, who, and the Clippers couldn't do it, and they're one of the best defensive teams in the league. So Rondo has to be at his absolute best in order to just slow Murray down. Now, if we look at the Lakers' best player, it's the same thing. Jeremy Grant has to play at his absolute best to slow down LeBron James. Now, LeBron James has not faced the level of defense that um, Jamal Murray has in um, the first series going against Gary Trent Jr., who I think was the most common matchup for him. And, um, and I don't even know who the... <laughs> The Rockets just put whoever like it was. That was probably Robert Covington. I didn't watch too much of that series, but um, but yeah, it was not the level of defensive, um, defensive competition like LeBron has faced compared to Jamal Murray, which is why I think Game One will be extremely close. LeBron, if Jeremy Grant can play great defense, the Nuggets can win. Like Jeremy Grant needs to go into this series with no other goal than to stop LeBron James. Well, at least slow him down. That I don't care about any offense. Your goal, if you're Jeremy Grant, all one of you, is to slow LeBron down. Okay, that's your sole goal of the series. Because they can get offense from uh, Harris, from Millsap, um, from their bench. Plumlee's been playing great. Michael Porter Jr.'s been playing amazing in clutch moments. But, um, yeah, I think they match up fairly well against Lakers because you have, no matter who else is in the game, Jokic will be guarding him, uh, Anthony Davis. At least he should be. Um, and then that would put Millsap on Howard or McGee, which is not too bad of a matchup. little undersized for Millsap, but overall not too bad of a matchup. And then um, shooting guard, I... Um, Gary Harris ha has not been playing horrible defense. 
uh, and should be fine against whoever the Lakers have been running at shooting guard, whether it be Caruso or uh, Quinn Cook. Uh, I'm sure I'm forgetting somebody, but whoever they throw in there, um, Harris should do fine against both offensively and defensively. Now, let's say they move on to the they beat the Lakers in seven games, probably. Um, they move on to the finals. Now, this is going to go back to um, it's going to be another tough series. It's going to be insanely tough. In fact, it might even be tougher for them to win than against the Lakers, who are by far the I would say the best team, at least record wise, best team. Um, now, because these two these two teams in the East play such great defense. Now, Miami took game one. I don't know when this will be released. I, I'm recording it as of um, Thursday, early Thursday morning. So before any any of the games, any yeah, any of the other games have been played. And um, both teams play amazing defense. Like they're the East, the top four in the East this year were all great defensive teams. So this will be go back to the Clippers series. Doesn't matter who they who the Nuggets end up playing. Um, let's just say, cause let's just say it's the Celtics, cause why not? And um, Murray again, Murray will be. I, my guess would be it's Marcus Smart versus Jamal Murray. Marcus Smart will get the start. Um, it'll probably be something like Marcus Smart, Kemba Walker, Jalen Brown, um, Jason Tatum, and Tice would probably be some would probably be the starting lineup for the series. Um, even if Gordon Hayward is back, just to put Smart on. Um, just put smart on Murray, and I. It's tough. Um, Jokic will should do fair, fairly well. That's Tice isn't. Tice is not big. Um, but does play decent defense. Um, Jokic should play fairly well this year if this were the case in this series. Um, overall, I. If the Nuggets make it to the finals against the Celtics, I don't think they're going to end up winning. Um, the only reason they I could see them winning is if um, both Murray and Jokic score 50 a game and um, Tatum ends up in California, in Disneyland instead of Disney World. Now, maybe over-exaggeration, but I just think Denver would be heavily outmatched, which I did. I thought they were in the Clippers series, and I think they kind of are in the Lakers series. So, that, again, that apparently doesn't mean anything, but I do think they'd be heavily outmatched. Now, if we go to the, if they were to play Miami, it's slightly different. Um, Miami doesn't have that great um, guard defender. They have Jimmy Butler, but um, Tyler Harrow's not big enough to guard. Um, Jeremy Grant at the small forward. Um, Kendrick Nunn or Kendrick, Kendrick Nunn and Goran Dragic aren't good enough defenders to stop um, Jamal Murray. Uh, Jokic will be a way less a factor with Bam Adebayo on him, so that's something for the Heat. But if if the Nuggets and Heat play, I the Nuggets have a gr- good shot to win. The, uh, much if yeah, if I'm the Nuggets, I'm cheering for the Heat. Because that they just the matchups favor the matchups in this that series would favor them much more than against the Celtics, but of course they got to get through the Lakers first. That's that's the big problem, and what they need to focus on right now. The keys to that would be Jamal Murray just needs to keep it up. That's key number one, obviously. Key number two is um, if you're Mike Mike Malone, get Jeremy Grant to focus on defense only. Get him to focus on LeBron, nothing else. Or if you have if you have that one defender, I don't have their um, their exact bench memorized. If Michael Porter Jr. is a better defender, have him in there. Whoever your best wing defender is, put him in there and say your sole goal is to slow down this man. I don't care about anything else you do. You've got to slow him down. That's your goal. Um, and then Jokic and AD, that'll be the matchup to watch. Um, but yeah, so if, if the Nuggets make it past the Lakers, I will probably make another video saying, like, like going in detail, 
against whoever they're playing. And it'll probably make I'll probably make one for both teams in the finals. Maybe I also don't I could get very lazy and just not post for two months. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um I hope you have an amazing day. Please like and subscribe. Um it's so it's free. You can always unsubscribe, you can always unlike. Unlike, that's never heard that one before. But um yeah, it'd be very greatly appreciated. And um adios.